So, wherever there is a GTK list in GUM, there is also an inconsistency. And I'm uploading this video first to show you the problem, second to show you the changes that there is no way to notice when you update, and third to show you how easy it is to contribute upstream and fix things. If you want to anyway! That's GNOME settings from master, and gosh every time, so I'm possibly annoying not remembering the last window size. So we go to date and time panel. And we see this row is activatable, so if we click on the row we can also change the switch status. Oh, and by the way this switch has a broken animation. Now, if we go to search panel, we'll see that the rows are actionable again, so we have this hover styles. But this time if we click on the row nothing will happen. We explicitly need to click on the switch. Then again, that happens because we can drag and drop and reorder these items. And meanwhile, we have this menu that nobody knows why it is there. I only assume in case someone missed the D&D functionality, but it is still over designed and must go away, I believe. On notifications we again have activatable rows. But getting inside, the rows becoming non-activatable and we need to click on the switches again. And that is an issue for both touch and mouse inputs. There are these patches for GNOME 338, and I'll show you in a bit what they do. Point is the code is very easy, so you can see how it works and fix many problems with the list upstream. And bonus, you will get a free code review from a pro developer, so it is a good idea if you want to start with GTK developing. What these patches do is to make these two rows activatable, as they should have been. And so clicking anywhere on a row, it will also change the switch. And so, you can search for such inconsistencies anywhere in GNOME, and then you can go on GitLab and open a merge request and fix these problems. Anyway, this video is done, or almost done, because I'm gonna make a glorious exit.